hello and welcome back to another after this tutorial today we're going to create this really clean stingy transition i'm actually going to use it in my videos from now on and if you also would like one all you have to do is follow along with the tutorial so without further ado let's open up after effects all right so in artface let's create a new composition so go to composition new composition uh, you can name it whatever you want and uh, Let's set the uh, size to the size you record or stream in. So if you record in 1080p, set it to 1920 by 1080 and set it to the frame rate you record or stream in as well. I'm going to leave it at 60 and uh, the duration at 10 seconds. Press OK. So this thing here is basically made up by three different shape layers and some keyframes. So let's start off by creating a shape. So let's go to our shape tool right here and select the rectangle tool if this isn't selected all you have to do is left click and hold and you can change between all these so select the rectangle tool I'm just going to alt and scroll to zoom out and using the shape tool I'm just going to drag out a rectangle shape that's quite big uh, a lot bigger than our canvas we're working on we're going to deselect the stroke, so just click on stroke and set it at none. And we're going to select the fill color to whatever you want. And use like a light blue. Then we're going to grab our rotation tool. I'm going to press down shift and drag. You can see it's rotated 45 degrees, just like so. But we still need to need it to be bigger to cover the whole uh, canvas. So just click on these points and press down shift to make it bigger. About this big. So if we select our layer and press Ctrl and D, if we make a duplicate. This I'm going to make the color a little bit darker. Kind of like so. I'm just going to drag it off to the side. So we can see all the layers. So Ctrl D again, we're going to make the fill a little bit darker again, just like so. So now we have three different shape layers in all different colors, so let's just animate them. Right, I'm just going to align every shape layer, this is going to make it easier when we animate it later on. So just make sure they are about the same place. Then we can t select all of them, just drag them off screen to about right here. I'm just going to take the, the anchor point tool and move it to the middle. You make sure the anchor point is in the middle of every shape. So we we'll, let's hide every shape but the first one, which is like the lightest of blues. We can press P on the keyboard to bring it to position. I'm just going to make a keyframe for the position by pressing this stopwatch right here. We can move forward to about a second. I'm just going to drag it so we can't see it anymore. Just like so. So if we play it back. Nice. But we want it to stay in place right here. So if we press this button right here, it's make a new keyframe. And we can delete the other one. So now it whoop, stays there. And we can, we, if we select the position, we can control and C to copy it. We're going to bring up the position on both on the other shape layers as well. I'm going to select them and control V to paste them in. And let's see, we're going to make them visible, of course. We want the second shape to come to start moving about right here so there's a like a delay between every color shade just like so i'm going to take the darkest to start about right there so if we play it back just like so but as you can see it's really choppy so if we so if we select every keyframe and press F9 to ease ease. And then we want to add some motion blur. So have all the layers selected. I'm going to press this three circles layer right here. Just click it and 
activated right here. So now we have something like this. It's a little bit too fast, so I'm going to separate the three last keyframes to the first ones. To make it go a little bit slower. So now I'm just going to add one more thing. So if we select all the keyframes and press the graph editor, just make sure it's set to edit speed graph and nothing else. Select the first three keyframes. Just like so and grab one of the points and drag it about 70% to the right so you can see the curves curve starts going slowly and goes fast and finishes the motion would get faster and faster so if we play it back it would look something like this cool now we're going to animate the shapes going back Around a second later, we're going to make a keyframe for the position again. And as you can see, it, it moves a little bit between these keyframes. I have no idea why it does that. Um, so what I did to fix that is just select every shape and just make it even bigger. So the movement between the keyframes doesn't get noticed. So now it looks something like this. Just like that. So here we will add our a logo to be animated later on. So from here we have another clean slate to work on. So we're just going to first grab the darkest blue blue shape and let's just drag it back up to about a 45 degree angle just like so. Perfect we're going to have the so this will be off screen first so if we move a little bit forward and select the other shape. We're going to take that as well, drag it up to around a 45 degree angle, like so. Move forward a little bit and grab the last shape and drag it off screen, just like so. So you can see all the all the shapes going back. So if we select the last keyframes right here and go to the graph edit again, we're going to drag the last point right here and drag it all the way to the left but not all the way to around 70% again and we have this kind of animation I think this is a little bit too fast so I'm just going to separate the keyframes just a little bit you might have to play around with the position of the keyframes to separate them a few seconds to make the animation more smooth and uh, slow and if you want fast just move them closer to each other and um, I also said I also give you some wrong information before so if we select the last three keyframes right there and go to the graph editor we are going to zoom in and drag them back and select the first keyframe right here move it up to about 50-60% just like so and we should have something that looks like this and so after you have made all the keyframes you've basically laid the groundwork for the animation and what you what you have to do then is just tweak it and uh, just find the best position you just have to position the keyframes to your liking but this is like the general like shape or pattern of the keyframes for this animation. So what you can do is like separate these two a little bit more to make like a delay between the animations, etc. So I'm just going to tweak around. So this is the final animation that I'm happy with. So just take a look. Yep, really clean. So now I'm just going to import my logo. And I think you should do the same. I'm just going to import it to the timeline just above every all right. I'm just going to press S on my keyboard to bring up the scale properties. I'm just going to set the scale value to around 60 to make it a little bit smaller. 
and we want to zoom in animation of the logo to start when this darker shape Alright, sorry about that. So we want the zoom in animation to start when this darker shape starts covering the logo. I'm going to explain why later on. So just like, let's make a keyframe for the scale around here. So we move forward to when the darker shape comes over the logo again. So we're focusing on this shape right here. So I'm just going to increase the size value to around 75 looks cool. And I'm going to select both keyframes and press F9 to ease this. So my idea is that we want this, this darker shape right here to make the logo appear. So when the shape goes over the logo, the logo appears. When the shape goes back, the logo uh, disappears again. Alright, so this is really simple to do. So all you have to do is we're going to duplicate this uh, darker shape. So it's Ctrl and D. I'm going to move it above our logo layer. And we're going to make this logo layer a track mat to the layer above, the shape layer above this dark shape right here. So it's alpha mat. It's the choose the first one so if we play it back the logo should appear when the shape appears so let's take a look if you think this part right here is a little bit too fast you select all these keyframes and move in to the right just like so so there we have it, now we create a really clean stinging transition using basically only shapes. But we made a 10 second long composition, so just you can see these two blue lines here, just drag them closer. So now you can see everything in this section right here will be exported. And make sure we export as you take this box right here, which makes it transparent and then go to file export and add to render queue uh, I'm going to leave the settings up to you but one thing is go to output make sure the channels are RGB plus alpha this makes it transparent when you export it as well it's okay and render just like so and if this video gets 1000 likes I will release the project files for this and all you have to do is add your own logo and you have a really clean stinging transition. So thank you for watching the video and I'll see you next one. Bye.